Hello, Cancer viewers. Let's get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. We've got engagement ring. That's pretty good for the first card. Um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Let's see what else we got going on here. Happiness, uh, expansion, joy, playfulness, paradise, heartbroken, deeply sad or deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, and able boundaries. Okay, I'm getting a couple different messages here. Girl talk, time with friends, family moving on, happily single. Getting a couple different messages from this, actually. I feel like some of you got love bombed by somebody. Because we have engagement rank paradise, so it's almost like somebody was just in this almost... Um, it, it, it's like your dreams and your ideals, what you wanted wasn't lining up with what was actually going on. It's like somebody had this dream about, you know, marrying this person, being with this person forever, and they just ended up heartbroken. So I think for some, you might have gotten love bombed by somebody and now you're confused. You're like, you know, was it real? For others, I feel like there might be a third party situation where you guys were on path on the on the right track to do these things to you know have this kind of life together but i feel like some kind of third party got in the way here um i'm going to i'm going to pull more cards to get more details on this and if this is your reading if this resonates please comment a, a heart reaction below or just comment anything below um, just any kind of support. I really appreciate it because I'm trying to get back in the algorithm in YouTube and get YouTube to promote, to promote my videos again. So I do appreciate the engagement, you know, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Boat, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues, the runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego love unconditional love hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling not today not dealing hurt Avoiding a conversation, call, or person, having boundaries up, still being angry. Let me see here. I feel like this person did love bomb you. But I, here, let me. I want to look into this specifically. Because the storyline so far that I'm getting, it's, it's like you were really hopeful about this. You might have seen this as the person you were going to marry. Um, they might have seen you the same way. It was just paradise. Like you were, it's basically the honeymoon phase. I feel like you guys were really falling in love with each other. And then there was some kind of, you know, betrayal here, some kind of separation, some kind of breakup here. And then we have empath and narcissist paradigm. So something happened here where I feel like, I feel, I feel like you, let's see, because we have enabled boundaries here. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm channeling from this. So it's a really interesting storyline we have here. I want to say for some, I do feel like it's a third party just looking at it. Especially with the snake energy. I feel like you're also seeking support from your friends. This is moving on, having fun, you know, closure. But I almost feel like this person was the runner in the past. It's like they were running away from this connection. But it's like now that you're moving on, now that you're closing this cycle out, 
And I feel like you might have done that with support from from friends, from mentors, from the people around you. Um, could be family as well, where I feel like you just you 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 kind of took your power back from this person. But I feel like now this person that was afraid of intimacy, this person that was running away from this connection, this person that was sabotaging wants to come back in. And it's like they want to take this risk with you now, but you're not really having it. You don't trust this person anymore. What happened here? I'm going to, I need to pull some cards, I think, to get some deeper details in this. Tell me about the love bombing. Tell me about that. Did this person genuinely, was there genuine love here or was it just an illusion? Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed, Angel de la Nute, which is about the light after period of darkness, the Hierophant. So it does seem like the love actually was genuine. It seems like, how do I explain it? And I'm not trying to excuse them for doing this. I feel like they might have love bombed you. But I don't think it was in a traditional way. Like, you know how a lot of people just love bomb you because it's like they want, they just want attention, right? And, you know, right in the moment they want, they just want what they want, basically. I'm getting more like this person got caught up in their emotions. So they just kind of love bombed you. Like you guys both moved kind of fast in this connection is what I'm feeling. So we have Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed, and the Hierophant. And we'll see this as this person was willing to stay, even if they saw your dark side, even if they saw, you know, whatever came up, they wanted to stick it out. They actually did want to work through this. So then a Pentacles 2 is about patience and perseverance. Two of Swords reversed. I feel like that's coming out of a stalemate. It's like, I feel like it's taking the blindfold off. You're not at a crossroads. You're not confused anymore. Eight of Cups upright, I would take that as someone walking away, but I'm taking these cards together to mean basically the person didn't want to walk away. They saw the truth about you or they saw the truth about this connection and they did with the Hierophant here. It's like they did still want that commitment. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Judgment, Four of Wands. Like they didn't know how to get there, but I feel like they did want that peace and stability with you. They did want that connection with you. But I'm just, for some of you, I feel like you saw this person's true colors. You saw their darkness. You saw, you saw every part of them and you wanted to stay. You wanted to fight for the connection. You still wanted to be with this person anyway. And I think that they didn't trust it. I felt because I just keep getting this energy of love bombing. So it's going to be different for everybody. But I think for some, you were worried that they were love bombing you. For others, I feel like they were kind of worried that you were love bombing them. They might have thought that you were just lonely, that you just wanted anybody. It's almost like a, a too good to be true kind of mentality. But I'm getting basically the energy I'm getting is that somebody was really fantasizing deeply here. Whether it was you or them, it possibly both of you. This could have been a telepathic connection where you guys were both kind of fantasizing about each other, missing each other, longing for each other. Just a very deep connection. Very, um, I get almost like an innocence to it. Like, like kind of, you know, like falling in love with your high school sweetheart. I just picked up a lot of romantic energy with the first two cards that I got up there where it was talking about paradise and and you know being in love and just that happiness um i i see that as you know basically just falling in love with someone and i feel like somebody just really got in their head about that i feel like somebody just felt like it was too easy too good to be true they felt like want well, you know maybe it's just puppy love maybe when you got to know them you wouldn't really want them But I, yeah, it just, I keep getting love bombing. I keep hearing love bombing. So someone was afraid that it was just, that they were just being love bombed. Like I said, they might've been afraid that, you know, that it was just puppy love and that it wasn't, that it wouldn't last. For others, I want to say, I kind of feel like 
Because I do feel like something sabotaged this. I think I'm going to look into that, but I do feel like something came in and sabotaged this. And I appreciate you guys being patient with me. I am very tired today, but I wanted to get these readings out there in time. So I'm sure if you stick with me, you know, my next reading, I'm not going to be nearly as scattered. But um, with girl talk here, especially if it was after after these cards, we got about something being sabotaged, heartbroken, separation, we have time with friends. I almost feel like you might have had a friend. And again, this is not for everybody. So don't don't go, you know, accusing people of doing things they didn't do. You probably would have already felt this energy. But for some of you, you might have a, a friend that's jealous of you. And she either wants to be your with your person or she just doesn't like people having what she doesn't have. So this could be a friend who's alone and you know, she doesn't want anybody to, she doesn't want her friends to like lose themselves in a relationship. She wants them to keep going out and having fun with her. She doesn't want to be left behind. Like she just has this jealousy and this kind of resentment. So for some, I almost feel like you might've had a friend that was trying to sabotage this. Let me, I'm going to put these cards back actually. And I'm going to pull some cards on this part of the story. I want to see what happened. So we got that there was some kind of fear of love bombing or there was just someone was just so deeply in love and they were just fantasizing. They just felt like this was like their person that they wanted to spend their life with. But I feel like this happened. I feel like this really freaked somebody out because I feel like it happened very early on. I feel like... I mean, I don't feel like this is somebody that you dated for years. You know, I, I feel I get more of the energy that this is like a new connection. Like this is somebody that you just met for like a week or two. Maybe you went on a couple of dates with or maybe you guys dated for like two or three months or something like that. And I think the fact that they were just so deeply in love and thinking about marriage and just fantasizing about you all the time and they were just so happy. It's just just I get this energy of just fantasizing. I think that just freaks somebody out because they're like, wait a minute, maybe this is puppy love. Maybe this isn't real. Like, why? I almost feel like this might be a soulmate or a twin flame connection. And I feel like this person probably didn't understand that. So I think I think you probably understood it. And it could be vice versa. You could have been the one that thought it was love bombing and you ran and they were the one that was aware that it was a soulmate or twin flame connection. So take it as it resonates. But it, it just seems like one person in this connection was, yeah, basically aware that this is like a past life connection. They might have even been, you know, the person might have even been looking for the other person. They might have been telepathically communicating and aware that they were about to meet somebody. And I feel like the other person just isn't quite as spiritual. So they didn't understand this. They might not be familiar with twin flames. So I feel like when this happened, they're like, well, there's no way that we're this deeply in love when we've known each other for two months. Like you haven't seen my dark side. There's so much that you don't know about me. I feel like somebody just sabotaged this. There's like, this is too good to be true. It couldn't possibly be this easy. Um, especially with thinking about engagement. You know, I think somebody really... I think they kept fantasizing and then I think they actually started thinking seriously about like what it would be like to be married to you, to maybe even have children with you for some of you. It's like they were thinking about a whole future with you and then it's like they freaked themselves out. They were like, it's like something happened and I'm going to look into it to see what that might have been. But it was like something happened where they're like, oh my God, like this is, this doesn't make sense. Like this isn't logical. Like I can't, you know. It could even be somebody that you were dating for like six months and they were like thinking about proposing and they're like, wait a minute, no, this is crazy. This is too soon to propose. Like we can't do this. Um, it could have even been someone you were engaged to and they might have called the engagement off because they, they got in their head about it. And um, I just, I feel like somebody got in the way here. I do feel like somebody got in the way. So let's look into that. Let's look into what happened there. Four of Wands. So yeah, this is that, that peaceful feeling that I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with this emotional energy, just very peaceful, very um, just on cloud nine, you know, somebody that's just super happy. You know how it is when you're in love with somebody and everything just feels perfect, like everything just feels right in the world. That's that kind of energy I am getting. And then judgment, five of pentacles. Yep. Nine of cups reversed.
for some of you, they might have seen something in you that reminded you, reminded them of their ex and it might have freaked them out and made them think, you know, maybe I am just repeating a pattern. Maybe this is too good to be true. Like maybe they might have, it might have been like you guys were in the honeymoon phase and they saw something that just, you know, made them wonder if, if this could really work. But for a lot of you, I feel like somebody got in their head. So it's like they were so peaceful and so happy and so sure about this. And then it's like out of nowhere, they make this judgment call. Five of Pentacles is, you know, anxiety, being left out in the cold. Nine of Cups is, Nine of Cups upright is, is wishes being fulfilled, but reversed. It's almost like someone feeling like, you know, maybe their dreams can't be fulfilled. Maybe almost feeling like it's just an illusion. Ten of Cups. But yeah, it's like they still, the wheel. Eight of Cups reversed. Let me see here. The moon. King of Cups. Ten of Swords. The High Priestess. Hmm. I feel like they either felt that they couldn't be this king of cups for you, or they might have felt like you cheated on them, or they might have felt like you were just disloyal. It's like somebody got in their head. It could have been a mutual friend, honestly. It could have been somebody that put the idea in their head that you might be just be promiscuous, or you might... If it's not somebody that you know that's jealous of you, it could just be somebody that they maybe vented to. Like, they might have opened up to someone and they're like, hey, like, I really love this person. And I think that their friend who or family member who doesn't even really know you, this is probably somebody that's only met you once or twice or somebody that you don't even really know who's just protective of this person was like, no, like that's, that's unrealistic. You can't get married when you barely know this person or, you know, no, it's, it's not, it's must be puppy love. Cause it's unrealistic to, to feel that deeply in love this early on. Um, I bet this person is probably just, they probably fall in love easily. It's probably not somebody that you could like, they, they put the idea in their head that they couldn't trust you or they couldn't trust the connection basically is what I'm feeling. And I feel like they felt, I feel like this person caused them to doubt their intuition because with the moon, I know some people, some readers take the moon to be a bad card. I always see it as a good card because it's like there is illusion. There is like the dark clouds and whatnot, but I, I also see it as a card about intuition. It's about clearing these things away, at least to me. That's how I personally see it as a reader, you know. And I kind of feel like this person felt like they were using their intuition. They felt like they were on the right path for you. Everything felt good. And then it was like this rude awakening where they just felt like somebody got in their head and said something that made them. It's like you put this person in a king or queen of cups energy. You got them in this very, they're probably not like this with most people, but I feel like with you, they were, they were just so much more open with you than they are with most people. This is somebody who's emotionally mature, emotionally open. Uh, I see the King of Cups as somebody who's who's romantic, who's emotionally available. And so I feel like this person, and I don't feel like the this person that you're dealing with, I don't feel like they're usually the type to wear their heart on their, on their sleeve. I feel like this is somebody who actually has a lot of trust issues. I feel like this is somebody who's usually very guarded, uh, really takes their time getting to know each other, know, know people, kind of... Um, a little bit guarded at times. And like I said, bear with me because I'm a little bit tired today, but I'm sure the next reading is going to be a little bit more clear and, and to the point. But, um, but like I said, I wanted to get these out there by the first. So, so yeah, it just feels like with most people, this person isn't, I don't think they're a bad person in any way. I, I don't get a bad vibe from them. I, I just get the sense of just being guarded, just being a little bit, somebody who has a really big heart, but I feel like they've been hurt so many times that they know that they have to be careful with people. So I don't feel like it's somebody who's completely shut love out. I don't think it's somebody who's just like isolated themselves and said, screw love or anything like that. But I think it's one of those people who's like, 
like they they know from experience they have to be really cautious because they can get their heart broken and they can they've been betrayed so badly i feel like this could have been someone who was bullied as a child too because i'm getting an image of somebody like being bullied on a on a playground as a kid um so yeah basically just life has taught them to really get to know people you know to to find that balance not to shut people out but but not to dive in either so i think this was so unexpected with you because it's like they just they felt so emotional and they felt so safe with you and they felt so just open and at home with you and just really attached really early on this is somebody that probably like you know, like love at first sight kind of energy, like they fell in love with you in a very short period of time, like maybe a matter of weeks or months, but it didn't take them long to figure out that, you know, they, they wanted this, you were unlike anyone they'd ever met. But I feel like they kind of had it in their head that they were like using their intuition and that they were, you know, it's kind of like they lost balance with you, basically. You know what I mean? Like with other people, like I said, they have that balance where they're kind of cautious. And so I think this just threw them off guard. And like I was saying earlier in the reading, too, I feel like, you know, one of you is spiritual and you're you're familiar with soulmates and twin flames and soul recognition. And you probably knew what this was early on, but this person might not have experienced that before. They might not have been aware of those what those terms mean or the spiritual community. So they were just like, what the hell is this? Like, why am I feeling this all of a sudden? Like, this just came out of nowhere. Like, I wasn't expecting love. I wasn't, you know, like, like, wait a minute. How did I go from being single to wanting to be married in six months? Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, somebody just really kind of, like, made themselves panic here. And I felt like they, I think they, like I was saying, I feel like they thought that they were using their intuition with this connection. They were like, like they lost balance and they were blaming it on their in, on their intuition. I hope that makes sense. It's almost like this person dove in. And I mean, I guess it is intuition in a way because it's like a past life connection. So it's like they're opening up. It, it's kind of like just picking up where you guys left off in one of your past lives. You know, I almost feel like in that past life, you kind of vowed to find each other again. Like, I feel like this is a very deep soulmate or twin flame connection. But... um they felt like their intuition misled them, basically. It's like they were trusting their intuition and they were being led to you. Um, and they were just completely opening their heart up, like their heart chakra just opened so much with you. And then this person got in their head and it made them doubt themselves. It made them doubt their spirit guides and the universe and true love and their intuition and all of it. They're like, like 10 of swords energy where they're like, oh, wait, this was too good to be true. So, and like I said, for some, I feel like, and some of you might have cheated on them. It might have been something that did happen, but um, for some, I feel like they either, they felt like you cheated or they felt like you would cheat or they felt like, they just felt like they were, something happened where they felt like they were wrong about this connection. They just suddenly felt heartbroken. They suddenly felt like, like it was just too good to be true. Like it was just in their head. But I feel like the divine is stepping in to clarify this with the high priestess, you know, this hidden knowledge that's coming through. I feel like your spirit guides are stepping in to be like, no, wait a minute, like you misunderstood something here. And it might have even been they felt rejected by you when you didn't actually reject them. It could be some, it could be something like that. Tell me more about this situation. Justice. The Hierophant. I feel like this is the person that you're, let's see. I, for some, I really feel like this per this is the person that you're... Look at all the major arcana cards. For some, I feel like this is the person that you're meant to marry because we have justice and the hierophant. And the hierophant, to me, a lot of times it's about, you know, society and organizations, but it's also about marriage. And with the justice card, it's almost like your spirit guides are coming through to get this back on track. It's like this foundation had to crumble so that they could have the strength to rebuild the foundation. There needed to be a deeper level of trust, basically. So it's like you guys are kind of, yeah, queen of wands. It's like your, it's like your relationship is changing is, is what I'm feeling. It wasn't, it's a blessing in disguise kind of energy where you guys can, maybe you guys were too much in the honeymoon phase where you weren't talking and you were both afraid to mess it up or you're both afraid to say the wrong thing. And so it's like all this kind of got things out in the open where it's like you guys are going to rebuild your relationship and it's going to be stronger than before. Queen of Wands and the Fool. The Page of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. 
the King of Swords. Two of Cups. The Five of Swords. Hmm. I really get the energy where they feel like you have somebody else or they... For some, this could even be a past life. You might have left this person in a past life. Because I just keep in that third-party energy. Especially Three of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is like juggling something. And we've got the King of Swords right here. You know, you have the King of Cups and then the King of Swords. So it's like somebody like juggling something here. So I really kind of feel like this person, you might have rejected them or hurt them in a past life. And so they have this fear and they might have gotten triggered by something and been like, oh, my God, like he or she is going to leave me again. They're going to leave me out in the cold. I'm going to get my heart broken again. Or somebody said something to them. They're just some kind of energy of like third party or jealousy or just making assumptions. There was some kind of assumption that was made that's incorrect. I feel like they acted on their fear and they ran away from this, but I feel like now that you're now that you're kind of moving on and you're taking your power back, it's like they have to choose. Do they want to lose you or do they want to are they willing to get past their fear for you? And so I think a lot of them are are taking this chance. But you're not it's like you're still confused about what happened. You're like, why the hell did you leave? Why did you go smear? Why did you get scared all of a sudden? Why did you choose your pride and fear over me? Like what happened there? Like you don't understand the the, the you know situation, whatever triggered them. There was a lot that happened behind the scenes in this connection that you didn't see, basically, is what I'm feeling. But but yeah, it's like you don't want to deal with it. But I feel like there's just something about a third party, yeah. Even if you didn't cheat, I feel like they felt like you cheated or they felt like like worried that you would or they felt triggered by someone. Could even be someone from your past life that you're in connection with now, but it could even be like a platonic connection with this person in this lifetime, but maybe just meeting this person triggered them. Like it could be a really close friend of yours that you were actually romantic with in a past life. But it was still to the point where it's like it brought up like past life memories, even if they weren't conscious of it. Does that make sense? But I feel like this person is getting clarity. I feel like there's some kind of divine justice. Even if no one says something to this person, I feel like they're going to start using their intuition more and realizing maybe they were maybe they made a hasty decision. They need to go back and look at things again. Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Four of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to be alone anymore. They're tired of being alone. They want to build something with you. They're really holding on to this tightly. Seven of Cups. Three of Wands. I think they're also facing the possibility they're like, you know, I don't want to... Like, they're, they're looking at the way that they've been. They're looking at their patterns and they're like, you know what? If I keep choosing fear, if I keep listening to other people, I'm going to end up alone. I'm going to end up... Like, they're really thinking about their life. They're really introspective right now. Three of Swords, the Hanged Man. Yeah, they're having a new perspective about whatever this was. Long-term view, and then we have studying, patience, perseverance. They're getting information is what I'm seeing here. They have a new perspective. Like, they were heartbroken by something. Like I said, it's either something that actually happened, something that they were told would happen, or just something that they thought could happen. I hope that makes sense. It's it's like they got in their head about something. Um, For some of you, like I said, this could have been someone that got in their head and lied to them or just made them. Could be somebody that... Um, I mean, it could be a fake friend for some, but like I said, for others, it might have just been someone that gave them bad advice somebody that just felt like it was and they might not have even had bad intentions it might have been someone that's just protective of this person and they didn't really know you they don't know what you're about you know it could be like a mother or father or brother or sister or like a like a friend even like a close friend um so I you know and it's going to be different for everyone like I said some of them did have bad intentions some of them were jealous and they were 
jealous of you or the connection and they did want to separate this but for others I really feel like this person actually did have good intentions so just take it as it resonates but for others yeah I feel like this person was just trying to be protective and they're just like no you can't propose this early on or or no I don't think you're really in love this early on that doesn't make sense like maybe you're not being realistic it's kind of like your person was in king or queen of cups energy and this this other person or this energy pulled them back into like king or queen of swords energy and they started looking at things in a different way. But I feel like they're going to have some kind of clarity. They're going to have some kind of new perspective here. And they're going to take a closer look at this with the help of their spirit guides. And um, really be patient here and really kind of study this and really think about things. And I think they're going to finally have some clarity after that. So anyway, I hope that helps. Like I said, if this is your reading, please just leave a heart comment below. It really helps me a lot. I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to get my, my videos promoted again. Um, and if you want a private reading, my email is also below in the description box. Dra oops, sorry. Dragon Enchantress at AOL.com. So thank you guys for watching.